Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. Check out these old cars. Relics of the past, a bygone era that brings a special feeling in a certain person's heart, not my heart, but someone who owned those cars has a more in-depth feeling about what those cars mean to them, as well as me and you who are watching this vlog, we get a special feeling, a vicarious feeling with the people that own the car even though their feeling is more passionate and more strong because they have more memories in those vehicles, we can still look at those vehicles and actually pull memories from our past, things that we have seen, TV shows, or friends who may have owned those particular cars. The mind is a wonderful thing when it comes to memories. It's my second channel, Daily Blog Channel. It's the Daily Woo, and it's the Daily Monday. TGIM, thank goodness. It's Monday. Today also, is the 30th anniversary. Actually, I think yesterday was, but let's just say this conglomerate group of days in the last day or two, today and yesterday, approximately today, is the 30th anniversary of the movie Goonies, a 1980 classic. And I, it made me think, I got up this morning and I saw on the interwebs that it was the 30th anniversary of that fantastic film. And I thought I would do a vlog about how much I love the 80s. Not specifically the Goonies. Even though I love the Goonies, the Goonies influenced me in a lot of ways, and I think subconsciously it actually influenced me into starting to do adventures, going out, getting off the couch, and actually filming things, doing things, seeing the world, exploring. And I want to talk about the 80s. Goonies never say die that was used in the movie the goonies the 1985 classic look at this house right there that really doesn't look exactly like the goonies house but it is something that you would probably see in astoria oregon like that sort of type of house which is actually where the goonies were filmed and a lot of people have asked you should go up to oregon and film the goonies locations they are actually doing right now they are doing the 30th anniversary celebration and fans of the film are flocking up there in droves. I did not choose to actually go up there. There's another movie that will be celebrating 30 years this, this year as well. Actually, there are a heck of a lot of movies, but Back to the Future, Part 1, 1985, 2015. Back to the Future is my favorite movie, and you will find that probably all 99% of my favorite movies are from the 80s, from the early 80s to the late 80s. In fact, I would say most of the movies I watch are pre-1989. I have a very difficult time watching anything post-1990. Now, this does not mean I am against newer movies or against any movies past 1990. I just feel a special connection with movies from the 80s, and I don't know if any of you out there actually feel the same way. And the Goonies 30th anniversary actually made me think about this and wanted to title this vlog, or at least the subject of this vlog, to be about the 80s. I love the 80s. Goonies never say die. So let's think about that, the 80s. And I really would like to know, is anyone out there watching a huge fan of the 80s like I am? I know there are people who are younger than I am that love the 80s, that weren't brought up in the 80s. In 1985, I would have been 11 years old. I was born in 1974. I'll be 41 years old in August. So I was 10, probably 11-ish, depending on when in 1985 it was, give or take. Actually, I might be, it might have been 11 the entire year of 1985. Do the math for me. August 1974, August 10th, 1974 was my birthday. So in 1985, did I spend my entire 11-year-old childhood in 1985? That is a conundrum that, while I'm talking to you, I cannot think coherently to actually do the math. So please help me out with those facts and figures. Anyway, 11 years old, 1985, Back to the Future came out, The Goonies came out, about 150 gazillion other movies that are classic. 1985, out of all the years in the 80s, actually influenced my life more than any other year in my childhood and my adult life. So if I had to pick my favorite year, probably 
from the day I was born until now and probably until the day I actually die. 1985 will be and always will be my favorite year. I was 11 years old. My mind was just being molded and actually influenced by the world and things that I enjoyed. I saw Back to the Future for the first time on VHS. My family used to rent VCRs. Yes, rent VCRs from a video store and we would rent Back to the Future about once a month for the weekend. I saw Back to the Future 18 gazillion times. And I'm using a lot of mathematical terms and the word gazillion is a factual number if you look that up, especially in my mind. Back to the Future was a huge part of 1985 as well as Mountain Dew, which I have been on this water diet. I have not drank a Mountain Dew in way over 50 days. I'm well approaching my 60 day cleanse of drinking Mountain Dew, but I love Mountain Dew. I love the taste of Mountain Dew is my all-time favorite soda. I first drank that in 1985. My good friend Justin Paul came over to my house and said, you should come over to my house and hang out. So we went back to his homestead, went into his cabinet area of the kitchen. There was a fridge and next to it was this walk-in closet cabinet area. And he opened the door and we walked in and there were 12 pack cases of this glorious green can goodness known as Mountain Dew. And he said, just try this. Just try it. Just try this Mountain Dew. And I said, all right. I gave in to the peer pressure. That's about as much peer pressure as I've ever given to in my life. I've never actually given into any other major types of peer pressure. So I guess if Mountain Dew is the worst peer pressure that you actually succumb to, then you're actually doing super, super good. So Mountain Dew 1985, Justin Paul convinced me that I should love Mountain Dew. And from there, I then watched Back to the Future. I also saw around that same year, I believe, Empire Strikes Back came out in the movie theater. Actually, it may have been Return of the Jedi. Correct me on that if I am wrong. I went with him as well to see that. So Star Wars came into my life. I did not see the very first Star Wars film in the theater in 1977. I was born in 74. I did not go as a three-year-old child to see Star Wars, the very first pre it being called A New Hope in the theater, but I did see the second movie and the third movie. Actually, I saw the third movie in the movie theater. What year was Return of the Jedi? Because that is the one I saw in the movie theater. Was that around 1985 as well? So the 80s really came into my existence. I started listening to music for the first time in the 1980s. A lot of bands from the 80s I still listen to. I still have a lot of the 80s CDs in my car. 80s nights are very popular still to this day. And all those songs that you hear in 80s clubs that you go dance to, you can actually find in my CD player in my van. So the 80s, even though it is the year 2015, are a very prevalent part of my life. I love the 80s. I am stuck in the 80s, some would say. And even though I am almost 41 years old in two months, three months, See, June, July, August, two months from now, August 10th, I will actually be 41 years old. But in my mind, I am still that 11 year old child, especially in my heart, what I like, what I am passionate about. A lot of my friends and acquaintances and people I know always kind of not make fun of me, but they are amused by the fact that I would rather watch a 80s movie, even an 80s movie that is not actually very good. The Goonies and Back to the Future are excellent. 80s movies, but there are a lot of 80s movies which really are not very well made and not great movies. And I would rather watch those 50 times in a row than having my arm twisted to watch a new film. Very interesting how your mind works and how you relate to older things. Just like to bring it back to the beginning of the vlog, some people relate to older cars and some people like me relate to older movies like the 80s and older music. So leave some comments down below about the 80s. What do you think about the Goonies turning 30 years old? Can you believe it? The Goonies are 30 years old. And in some people's minds, that would think, man, I'm really getting old. And that might be true. We are getting older, but it doesn't necessarily we are mean we are getting old because in our hearts, we will always be young, forever young. Who sang that song? Forever young, I want to be forever young. Oh, by the way, soon, 
I'm on the home stretch. I talked about this cleanse, this water cleanse I am on, this fast I am on, doing very well, feeling very healthy. I will have the results on Saturday morning of this cleanse, this water cleanse, a 60-day diet cleanse, as well as a seven-day fast that I am on. Today's day three. Let's see, I started on Saturday morning, Sunday morning. So today's two full days. I've been two full days so far. So we are going seven days. Watch that vlog a couple days ago to hear about that. I will have all the results of that very soon. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Please subscribe. Check down below for my t-shirts as well as add me on Periscope very soon. This social media cleanse as well will be over and I will be back going back to Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And you can also find me on Periscope, which is a very fantastic app. Download Periscope or if you have, just search Adam the Woo on there and add me on there. I don't know what kind of noise is happening up here. Maybe someone's robbing a bank. Or maybe someone's breaking into a jail cell. Maybe it's those crazy guys from the Goonies trying to break out of jail. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Love you guys, and I love the 80s. So hopefully, if you love the 80s and I love you, it means I love you twice as much. Isn't that how it works?